reason is this is a better run blocking offensive line than it is a pass blocking line because but they're so young. He lost two yards in the previous play, making this second and 12 for Michael Johnson. Gets it out to the release man. That's Patton again. Stopped well short of the first down. As the Argos read it almost perfectly, Wilson was there along with Joe Miro. But the bottom line is the Pirates can't take advantage of the terrific kickoff return of Freeman Basinger. I mean, they have enjoyed solid field position tonight, but I, I think they would have much preferred to, to have a little something more than a two and out to begin the third quarter. Because you know what Toronto's saying at halftime. They're saying, hey, the longer we let this team stay in this game and really feel like they have a chance to win, the tougher it's going to be for us to win this game ourselves. Keen will kick it away from inside his 40-yard line. Mike Clemens won't get a chance to play this one as Keen angles it out inside the 20. Eric White will continue with the controls for the Argonauts. Kent Austin will not be back in the ball game unless he's needed, meaning if White falters a little bit, but he's been decently solid. Six of seven for 42 yards. He's had some pressure on him, though. The front four of Shreveport, as they have in all the games, has played well again tonight. One number on the Shreveport defense, Leaf, that has really told part of the tale this year. The defense has been on the field nine minutes more per game through the first four games of the season than the opposition defense. So that's, wow. and that's really hurt them. It's an amazing statistic. On first down, White puts it up for Fairholme. He's hit immediately. Brandon Hamilton coming in on Jeff Fairholm. So it'll be second down and about three. Good solid play for Eric White on first down to throw short and set yourself up in a pretty, pretty solid second down type situation. Well, the biggest thing you want to do as a young quarterback is consistently stay out of those second and longs. Looking deep. And there was a mix up there. Mazzotti was in the area, but he was about 20 yards away from where the ball touched down. John, this is the second time that uh, you and I have seen Shreveport. And one thing that the secondary is doing a lot better tonight than I saw the last time was challenging the Toronto receivers. I mean, at certain times they have laid off and given them room, but in that second and short situation, they decided all five guys across the board to come up and jam the Toronto receivers, and I think they caught them by surprise, and Mazzotti had no chance to get down deep. Lamley standing inside his 15. Pirates will come out of this with decent field position. This is Basinger near the 40. Markers are down as Basinger breaks free. Freeman Basinger out near the 45. 